In 2013, when I was just seven years old, my school created a program to teach kids mathematics according to their ability and not their age. They created a level system which went from level one to level six and included half levels like level one and a half, level two and a half, and so on. And you would move up a level when you scored over 80% on three consecutive weekly exams. Me, being a sweaty little nerd, moved up to level six in just a couple months. No one in my school had actually beaten level six before, so I was determined to be the first. Every exam I would lock in and try my hardest not to make a single mistake, but every time I would get my paper back, I would score just under 80%. After months of trying and failing and trying and failing again, something finally clicked. I scored over 80% on one exam and then I did it again on the next exam and I thought, this is it. Just one more paper and I'll finally get past this level. But then I hear rumours that someone else had just beaten level 6. They beat me to it by one week. According to the rumours, this girl was four years older than me and while I had no idea who this mystery girl was, I was outraged. When the final paper came, I scored over 80% so I was through to level six and a half and I would get to sit in the big brain club with me and this other girl. But then the school year ended. Oh well, maybe next year. But when next year rolled around, school had discontinued the program, meaning that I was back learning level three maths with kids my age. Last year I was learning algebra and ratios but now I was back to learning my time tables again. The worst thing was I knew that I would have to wait another five years just to return to the same level again in school. This might sound like a good thing for some, but for me it was a nightmare because maths used to be the highlight of my day, but now since I knew it all it was just boring. It quickly went from being my most favourite subject to my least and I still haven't forgotten about it to this very day. So today I'll be making my own seven levels of maths and you can tell me in the comments which level you think you are. Level one literal child. Given the average age of a YouTube viewer, most of you are probably in this category. You know how to add, subtract, multiply, and maybe divide, but whenever someone mentions a square root to you, you just assume they're talking about this. The biggest number you know is a million, and you believe that algebra is just some fancy number system that grown-ups use where A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on. If you're on this level and you're not a child, please unsubscribe from the channel and never come back. And if you are a child, Skibbity Vibes in Ohio got me sheeshing with Kaisenat's Drip and Gat, energy, no cap, I spice slay mid riz, chat am I cooked, we got 7 levels of maths before GTA 6. Level 2 big boy school. You finally made it out of elementary school, which means you're old enough to legally get married in Alabama, but you still have to ask for permission to use the toilet. You understand basic algebra, proportions, percentages, and you can use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the length of the diagonal side. But you're still not quite sure what a quadratic equation is, you just know it sounds cool. If you stop here, you'll have just enough tools to live a normal, happy life. But if you continue on, before you know it, you'll be dealing with imaginary numbers and questioning the very nature of reality itself. Level 3. Normie. Towards the end of school, you'll study things like quadratic equations, circle theorems, and maybe a bit of calculus. At this point, you might start to notice things that just don't seem quite right. Like, when you divide by zero, it breaks all the rules of mathematics, but when you divide by an infinitesimally small value, but not zero, you get a derivative. Most people stop here because they realise that maths peaked at level two, and it'll only go downhill from here. But if you have severe autism, or you just want to punish yourself, you might continue to level four. Level four complex numbers and advanced algebra. At this stage, you've chosen to study maths beyond what was expected of you in school. So all of this is your fault and you have no one to blame but yourself. Some of you might still be enjoying maths, but unless you have some kind of mental disease, eventually you'll realize that spending your limited time on this earth thinking about imaginary numbers is just a tad bit wasteful. You may have been told that one day you'll be able to get a job where you can apply your knowledge in a meaningful way, but the ever continuing march of time is only bringing you closer and closer to death. And with every fleeting moment, the sands of your existence slip through the hourglass of your finite life. And yet here you are, manipulating matrices and solving for eigenvalues. Level five, abstract mathematics. At this point, you're likely studying mathematics at university. And it's also called mathematics and not maths because maths and mathematics are actually two different subjects entirely. You see in maths, you add two numbers together using your fingers and you simply count the first number with the second number. But in mathematics, you're performing an operation under the Abelian group of integers under addition. Basically, everything you thought you once knew about mathematics was just the surface of that iceberg of real mathematics. And just because you enjoyed maths doesn't mean you'll enjoy mathematics. You've thought about just going home and crying to mommy, 
but you're now 21 and even she would find that a little bit weird. Level six, graduate level. You're now learning advanced linear algebra, functional analysis, and higher dimensional non-Euclidean geometry, and a whole load more stuff that sounds really fancy and cool, but more than likely just involves you staring at a paper full of arbitrary symbols for hours on end, until one day something finally clicks and you get to understand just part of what you're looking at. You've probably earned a bachelor's degree or maybe even a master's degree, so you're more than justified in just giving up here and securing a nice job in a STEM field, where you'll be applying only around 10 to 15% of what you learned in school on a regular basis. The rest was just filler. But at least you had fun, right? You had fun, right? Level seven, smug prick. You're gonna leave a comment in the comment section saying there are plenty more levels of mathematics that I must simply be too stupid to even be aware of. I am aware of them, but are you aware that nobody likes you and just because you know an absurd amount of mathematics doesn't make you better than everyone else? But what does make you better than everyone else in literally every way is by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button below, or you can hit this video if you want to see more.